Hi, I'm Steve Easley here at Bob Vila's Energy Wise House, and on this project we're going to be showcasing a lot of new energy efficient technologies. One of the technologies we're going to be looking at and using on this project are structural insulated panels or SIPs that are going to be installed on the second floor. Now the Energy Wise home selected our control panels. Let's go meet Mike Tobin from our control. Our control structural panels are made of oriented strand board structural rated skins along with a rigid, solid core of PerformGuard EPS insulation. The composite of these materials make it particularly strong because you have full adhesive along all the surfaces, structural adhesive, that uh, really adds a lot of strength and durability to the product. The art control panels are being used on the EnergyWise house because of the benefits that the product uh, brings. It'll allow the house to be extremely strong we're building here in California, as you know, and earthquakes are a reality. And this type of construction really, really makes it strong against those events. The other thing is because it's so tight uh, in terms of its construction, you have complete control of energy consumption, which is extremely important in this project. The other aspect of, of a tight house is the fact that it's very quiet. If you have no air movement coming in and out from the outside, you're going to have a very quiet interior. And another benefit of the R control uh, product is, is that uh, we select various products that have uh, benefits themselves in that the OSB skin here uh, used in this project is made from Ox Terminator, which is a product that is termite resistant. And we match that to our PerformGuard EPS insulation, which is also termite resistant. So a, a nice uh, durability feature of the, of the panel. Our control panels are made in a factory setting. In this way, we can manage all of the quality control and uh, make sure that we are selecting nothing but uh, the best products and that they stay clean and dry. That's the main reason. We start with a rigid insulation PerformGuard EPS core made in large blocks. Then it's brought to a fabricating area where they're cut into core sections for thickness and length for the various panels that we would be making for any project. Then the cores are sent through a laminator where we use or apply structural adhesive, the same kind of adhesive that's used to make structural glue lamb beams, same, same material. Then the core is married to the OSB skins as a composite, both top and bottom, rolled into a press held under pressure while the adhesive cross-links and cures, then comes out of the press, and the panels are then loaded onto a truck and taken to our fabrication site. Here our fabrication contractor is very familiar with the project plans. He then cuts panels to size, puts in doors and windows, puts beveled ends or plumb cuts, depending on what the job calls for, pre-applies some blocking and plating as needed for the job. They're marked and labeled atypically for where they go on the project, matching a shop drawing that is also sent to the job for the contractor. The panels then show up at the project, banded, stacked in sequence, and ready for installation at the job site. The first advice I'd give anyone using structural insulated building panels is get an experienced crew with the proper tools and equipment. As you can see from the, the panels here on the site, some of them are, are fairly large. Uh, they allow you to build a lot of wall surface or roof surface in a very short time, but because of their size, uh, they're not, not real heavy, but because of their size, it takes some logistics in handling it. So get an experienced crew. Then. Uh, we start with a foundation, slab, platform. In the case of the Energy Wise home, we have a, a couple of mixed things, a wood platform as well as a poured pan concrete floor, which works great. What we then do is we put a base plate around the perimeter of the home. We then apply a sealant. In this case, we're using our control dual ply. It's uh, specifically formulated to use as a sealant. It's put on both faces, vertical faces of the plate and on the top of the plate. We've got to make sure that we locate the panel as we set it 
in areas where we can source electrical service from the foundation or either the roof. We uh, have those electrical chases marked and indicated on our shop drawings. With the plate uh, set and sealed, the R control panel is then set on the plate. It's nailed, and then the process basically starts again. The next panel comes in series. We connect one panel to the next panel by means of various types of spline details, either a surface spline, a block spline, a, uh, a lumber spline. But one panel to the next panel has to be connected to provide continuity throughout the wall. Then this process of setting panel to panel is repeated. Very simple, but has to be done and in each step along the way. Once the wall panel uh, is set, we reach a corner. We have uh, specific construction type fasteners that are made of hardened steel and are used to screw through one face of the panel and through the section of that panel into the next panel, which provides a tremendous amount of strength at that corner. Uh, good seismic resistance and good wind resistance and uplift resistance. With all of the wall panels up, we have a top plate that is put on the top pocket of the wall panels in series. This is done to provide stiffening continuity or a cord along the top of the panel. Once the wall panels are all in place, we have window openings and door openings. Uh, in many cases, we provide the bucking or the wood that surrounds the opening to provide strength at those openings at the plant. But this step can also be done at the job site. The thing that we have to remember is, is that the dual ply sealant and the nailing patterns have to also be uh, accomplished. In, in order to accommodate electrical plumbing, we provide factory cut chases in which the electrical wires will run. We also can provide this for plumbing where necessary. We try to advise people not to put too much plumbing in the outer wall because it is compromising or it will compromise the insulation value of that wall. And in addition to the plumbing and electrical cuts, we also do plating wherever necessary to include boundary members, blocking for uh, seismic hold down, and other areas of construction needing solid blocking. As you can see, our control SIPS is a, a very, really simple technology. We're basically taking engineered products, making large, high quality insulated plates, if you will, that have high strength. They come out mistake free, numbered, and designated for the very specific place on the job site, and resulting in a very good quality construction. We have higher energy efficiency, less wind and moisture uh, intrusion because of the tight fitting factory cuts. And in terms of energy efficiency, the benefit to the homeowner is dramatic. We have some projects where we can demonstrate 50, 60, even 70 percent energy efficiency because of this construction. So um, our control is a, is a nice fit for the builder, easy to work with, and a terrific, terrific long-term benefit to the homeowner.